to get this story out there before I am no more. My friends and I went on a trip for our little vacation, but like a horror movie, it all went wrong. Let me start from the beginning. First, I should tell you who's here with me. There's my boyfriend, Tommy, Ashley, Lucas, William, and me, Kelly. Tommy and I were the only couple, but, well, all that's beside the point. Let's get into what happened. My friends and I were taking two cars to get to our destination, so I don't know what happened in the other car. But who was in my car was Tommy and William. We were all talking together. <laughs> we were all laughing at a joke my boyfriend had told. And then, boom, the car had hit something, or someone. We freaked out, thinking that, well, we'd hit someone. Now, thinking about it, we should just have said it was a deer and kept going. But that isn't how it went down. We pull over to the side of the road. My other friends in the other car stopped right beside us. We all got out of our vehicles and walked over to each other. Ashley then asked us, Why'd you guys stop? William responded, We hit something. Well, have any idea what it was? Asked Lucas. We don't know. But you two go on. No need to slow you down. Ashley and Lucas then got back into their vehicle and continued down the road. My friend and I were about to get back into the car when, all of a sudden, everything went black. I was knocked out. I don't know how long I was out for, but it was still dark. But when I came to, I saw that my hands were tied to some kind of wooden post, and I was at least three feet off the ground. I quickly looked around the room I was in, and saw that my friends were hanging up as well. They looked to still be out. And then I saw another person. An old lady was standing across the room, just looking at us. She was holding something in her hands. It looked to be a metal rod, and in the other, she had a knife. She saw that I was awake and walked over to me. She was about to put the knife in me. Get the fuck away from her, my boyfriend shouted out. The old lady started to laugh, and then she spoke. Oh, looks like you want to go first. She then walked over to him. He tried to fight her off, but she slid the knife down his arm. Blood from his arm collected in a cup that she was holding now. She then did this to the now awake William, and me. After collecting our blood, she walked over to a hole in the ground. She then started to pour our blood into it. As she was doing this, she had a big smile on her face. She then picked up the metal rod that looked to be like a branding rod. And she stuck it into the blood. When she lifted it out, I could see that there was a weird symbol on the tool. She walked over to my boyfriend and stuck the tool to his chest. He started to shake violently and soon passed out. She then did the same to William and to me. I'll try to describe how it felt. When she stuck the tool to me, it felt like I was burning alive and I couldn't control myself and then I blacked out. I came to again, and I was still hanging. I looked around, and could see that my boyfriend Tommy was almost out of the rope that had tied him up. Then, the lady showed herself. Here's what she said. Now, it begins. After she'd said that, something that I can only describe as a monster rose from the hole that our blood was in. He walked over and grabbed William. The very sight of what happened next, I will never forget. The thing grabbed William, ripped him off of the rope, and it stabbed its long, sharp claws into William's chest. I could see the creature holding William's heart from his backside. Then the thing pulled its hand out from William, and it ate his heart. After all this had happened, I noticed that my boyfriend was free from his robe, and ran to the knife that was sitting on the table. He shouted to the creature, 
and it turned to face him. It started to walk towards him at a fast pace. Tommy then shouted to me that he was going to throw the knife to me so I could cut the rope that was holding me. He threw it and, luckily, I caught it. I cut myself free, and by this time the creature was holding my boyfriend in the air, about to stab its hand through his chest, when I ran and stabbed the thing in the back. It didn't face the creature. My boyfriend shouted, Run! Get the fuck out of here, Kelly! I listened to him and ran. I could hear the screams of my boyfriend as he slowly died. I had to make it to my other friends, Lucas and Ashley. I needed to tell them what had happened to me, and I needed them to believe me. I ran for what felt like hours when I finally reached the cabin that we were all going to stay at. I burst through the door, and my two friends were startled. They asked me where Tommy and William were, but all I could tell them was the truth. <laughs> they thought it was a prank until I showed them the thing the old lady had imprinted on my chest. I could see that they still didn't believe me, but they were worried about what had happened to my chest. As they were looking, we heard a loud, crashing sound. We all turned to look at what it was. The big window and the front of the cabin was broken, and Tommy and William's dead bodies were laying on the floor of the cabin. Well, I bet they believe me now. Lucas ran to a room which had a gun in it. He came back out, pointed the gun up at the thing, and shot. Nothing. It didn't even register. Lucas shot again, again, and again. Until it reached and grabbed the gun and pulled it from him and lifted him up. There was no way we could save him from this fate. But then, something came to me as we watched Lucas get his heart ripped out. The mark. That's how it found me. Ashley doesn't have a mark on her, so it won't be able to track her, and it won't kill her unless she gets in the way of killing me. I couldn't save Lucas, but maybe I can save Ashley. Ashley and I ran to the car that she and Lucas had driven up here in. We got in the car and started it and drove as fast as the car would go. I asked her if the laptop was still in the car. She said that it was, in the back. I found it and started it up. At this moment, we've been driving for over two hours. Then, I saw that we were coming up to a hotel, so I told her to stop. She tried to resist my command, but in the end, she listened. I told her to drive and not to stop until she got as far away from here as possible. After watching Ashley drive off, knowing that she's safe now, I felt like a hero. At least I'd saved someone. I ran into the hotel, got a room, and got the Wi-Fi password. Then, got to my room, sat down, and wrote this. Been trying to write this for the whole night. As I look out of the window, coming across the horizon was not only the sun, but that all too familiar otherworldly being. Now, as I finish up this last paragraph, all I have to say is, be safe and live life to the fullest. Something's trying to knock my door down. It's right in front of me. It's here. There's nowhere to go. Hey there. Thank you so much for taking the time to drop by and listen to this story today. It really means a lot to me. I put a lot of time and effort into making these videos, so it's nice to know that there's someone out there listening. Do me a little favor, would you? Click that like button, leave a comment, and if you really feel like it, why not subscribe too? Okay, happy tales everyone. See you soon.